going on YouTube? Big Ron here. I'm going to do a reaction video to some of my greatest lifts in this gym right here because this might be the last time I lift in this gym as I am selling this house right now and right here and right now. Yeah, buddy. Okay. See, I guess we're doing chest today. And uh, this is uh, the 2007 Mr. Olympia, I remember I was uh, growing some hair here because uh, I've been bald for almost, what, 94, I, almost 20 years. And I wanted to see if I grew hair, how it would look. Because the last time I had hair, I had like a little high top fade and a few curls. And lo and behold, it came back the same way that I last had it. It's Ronnie Coleman. No braids, head full of hair, despite being bald for so long. So I wanted to prove to people that, hey, I can still grow hair. When I had hair, I used to go to the beauty shop every single week. And I'm like, man, I ain't got time to be doing all that. That's too much trouble. So my beautician's like, man, you ought to just shave it then. I'm like, shave it? No way. So it took her about two months to finally convinced me to shave it. I got tired of going to the shop every single week. And uh, right now, I'm pretty much doing the same workouts that I do when I'm at Metroflex. So when I built this gym in 2001, I was like, okay, I got, I'm gonna put everything in this gym that I have at Metroflex to be able to do the same exercises at Metroflex that I'm gonna do at my house. This is the first time that I did my whole entire prep at my home gym and didn't go to Metroflex for none. It was the first time ever I've been going to Metroflex for all, <laughs> all of my uh, Olympia prep. Since I said, you know, I didn't do so good last year, let me just change up and just do something different. So I said, Oh, I never worked out at my house for my whole entire prep. Because at the gym, people always coming up, want to take pictures. People coming from all over the world, want to take pictures. And I'm like, man, if I get, for me to get this title back, I'm going to have to be totally focused. No interruptions whatsoever. So I'm going to do this at home where there will be no interruptions whatsoever. And uh, to be honest with you, it worked out pretty good. You know, it was my first time doing this. I just pretty much did the same thing I did at Metroflex. You know, no, no AC, just the fans going. And uh, it, it, it worked out pretty good. I, I had a lot of fun, but the most important thing is it saved me a lot of time. And like I said, there were no interruptions whatsoever. I am totally exhausted. I'm on like 100 grams of carbs a day. All my energy is spent lifting weights. There's no load, no unload. <laughs> on 100 grams of carbs, I'm just pretty much uh, lifting off of uh, <laughs> motivation, determination. <laughs> I always do like an hour of cardio before I work out. I have a little meal and uh, I only have maybe maybe one or two meals with carbs and everything else is all protein. The motivation is good when you won one, two, three, four, five, you know, six and seven. That's, that's, a, that's, that's, that's enough motivation right there to keep you going. So if you have passion for something, you really never work a day in your life. You know, and I've been working out for about uh, 48 years, and uh, I've had this passion now for at least 50 to 52 or two years of, of time I've been here on earth because before I started working out, you know, <clears throat> I didn't know um, too much what working out was all about. I didn't know too much about building muscles because I was like 10, 11 years old. And back where I'm from, it's from a real small town, you know, and there's not a, a lot to do, not a lot going on there. There's not a lot of, uh, not a lot of knowledge there, you know. Uh, there was nobody, not a single person that I grew up with did bodybuilding. So I had no idea <laughs> what bodybuilding was 
pretty much until I kind of got into it. I remember one time I was at the powerlifting meet because I did do powerlifting. It's called, you know, like I said, uh, I was big back in the day when I was growing up and everywhere I went, people always asked me if I worked out, if I worked out. And I always said, no, I don't. And then <laughs> curiosity got the best of me. And I'm like, these people ask me if I work out because the way I look now, I wonder what I would look like if I really started working out. So I went to the gym one day and just started working out and uh, pretty much kind of like fell in love with it. As always guys, I enjoyed this reaction video as I've always enjoyed it in the past because it was me. And as always, if you want more of these bad boys, just link, subscribe, and what else do you do? I appreciate you guys watching this. And if you want more videos like this, be sure to comment and subscribe. Yeah, buddy.